How valuable is open source to a cloud native developer? In short, very. Hybrid cloud technology is accelerating. Adoption, particularly while we're socially distant and taking advantage of more digital services, is growing. What some are missing is that the code that does the heavy lifting of hybrid clouds is open source. Linux, Kubernetes, Istio, and others. Most developers prefer an open hybrid cloud to avoid lock-in. A recent study from O'Reilly, in collaboration with IBM, of more than 3,400 developers and IT managers also shows that developers are getting hired based on these open source skills that underpin cloud technologies. These skills make them more flexible, secure, and competitive in the market. As a candidate, it's easier for you to find a job when you know the open source technologies. So we have more options, not like a lot of companies are using uh, proprietary software. All of them are using some kind of like open source software. So for you, as someone looking for a job, it's going to be easier, you have more options. Me as a hiring manager, as someone that is hiring someone, I feel that having the, the open source knowledge, you have the flexibility to adapt to whatever I, I need you to do. If I were to hire someone and they come to me and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a contributor to, to this open source and I've done this in the past, uh, or I open source a project, it does show me that they are capable of adapting. The study showed that 65% of developers consider that skills related to the underlying open source technologies behind commercial cloud platforms are beneficial to their careers. So the way I actually got into the open source world was I originally was going to be a uh, network administrator. I even went to vocational school to get that. Well, the funny thing is, is I couldn't, when I got out of that school, I couldn't find a job. People weren't hiring for what I had gone to school for. So a good friend of, my time, friend of mine at the time said, hey, you should look into Linux and open source software. So maybe you can like find something running some servers or something, because you know I had some interest in that. Well, it's a perfect story of how instead I started using Linux and open source software in my own personal computer at home, learning how to make that work, having access to the code and how computers were being ran at the time. And it opened up my whole career to me. And I've, I've taken that and ran with it the rest of this time. Open source software guards against vendor lock-in while lowering costs as well as providing an opportunity to leverage ideas and innovation from a large community. And if you are a beginner, for example, it's so important to have a community around so you can uh, start and continue your career, uh, for example, as a data scientist, where in a closed source software, usually you don't have community, usually you don't have a group where you can learn together. It's harder to get into the data science career using a closed source Developers also understand that open source software significantly outperforms proprietary software when it comes to flexibility, satisfaction, speed, quality, security, and functionality. It would be a mistake not to consider using open source components as part of your commercial product. Uh, I think a terrible mistake. If you were trying to build a proprietary operating system, that would be even unthinkable. You know, uh, you just use Linux. Roughly 70% of developers said that if the choice of clouds is up to them, they'd prefer to work with an open source based cloud platform rather than a proprietary one. Because of open source and cloud providers adopting that and trying to stick as close as they can to the upstream open source allows for standardized APIs and tooling. One of, the, one of the great advantages of IBM Cloud is that we are very close to the upstream, um, upstream code to run our software. Other co cloud companies out there put their special sauce on top of it or their specific APIs. So if you have a tool that is designed for open source work, you might have to edit it or fix it to work on another cloud, where in general, IBM Cloud will just work right out of the box, which is a pretty nice thing. The current lockdowns that are driving faster adoption of digital services offer developers a chance to tune their skills and ready them for a future that is based on hybrid cloud, open source, and the power of Kubernetes and microservices. 
Having these skills offer both the individual developer and their organizations more flexibility and future growth. Download and read the report at ibm.biz forward slash O'Reilly dash open dash report. We also invite you to join a live workshop or self-paced learning to skill up for an open source hybrid cloud future. Visit developer.ibm.com forward slash openshift dash world dash tour. The more open, the better.